So that was really embarrassing. Apparently this one end is actually... Whoop. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I do a new YouTube video. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. So today I'm opening up my Ipsy bag for October and they changed their packaging a little bit, which I like. They now have the logo on the front in four different colors, white, orange, pink, and navy blue. And on the back it says discover yourself in Ipsy below and I'm not going to show you because I don't want anyone seeing my address. And they also changed the color of the bag itself too. It used to be like a darker pink, but now it's like a lighter pink, close to a baby pink, but not with that much white. So this Ipsy video is going to be a little bit different. This time I have no idea what the bag looks like. I don't know what color it is, nor what the design is. So it's going to be a complete mystery to me, although I do know what the products are inside. I just don't know the design of the bag. Let's see. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. is her really big eyes with those eyelashes and that really curly hair with the middle part. That's cool. I like it. It's got eyes. Kind of creepy. And also on the zipper it has a little tiny bee and the little circles are in the bee are little hearts for Betty Boop. So see what we got. So the first product I got is the Ultimate Define Gel Eyeliner. It's the Longwear Waterproof Gel Eyeliner and it's from Sista. It's actually spelled S-I-S-T-A-R. So it's like, she's my sister. Also, all my products in this bag are cruelty-free except for one company. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! So I got a black one and apparently there's a gold one too. Hmm. It looks really tiny, so maybe it's used to go in the water line. So... This tip is pretty thick, so that makes me a little scared to do this eyeliner because, yeah, I'm good with eyeliner, but I usually prefer a thinner tip to use it. So if I want to get a thinner line, or if I mess up a little bit, then I can just make the line a little bit thicker. But you know what? There's always room for improvement, and it's always fun trying new things. So with closer examination, I found out that this is actually, this part is not actually a black eyeliner. This is actually the smudger. And that this gold one actually is the eyeliner. So yeah, that's embarrassing. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do my eyeliner with this now. Dang, it draws really sharp, tiny lines. That's definitely going to be easy to use in the waterline, which I'm definitely going to try. I'm going to make the line a little bit thicker. Oh my gosh, can this be possible? Do both my eyes really look like they have the same line? Is this really possible? Oh my gosh, they have the same amount of thickness. I like using this little guy. Okay, now I'm going to do the waterline. Oh wow, that's really easy to use in the waterline. I know this is first impressions, but I'm going to use this a ton. Because I really like the color. It's like a bronzy kind of color. So now I'm going to use the smudger to see how well this works out. I'm not really smudging it very well. The liner's still keeping its nice tight line. I don't like the smudger part. I love the color and I love the other part of it, but I don't like this little smudger. So the next product I got... Oh! Betty Boop's on it! It's like a little tiny red silhouette of Betty Boop. And it's the Betty Boop and Ipsy Blink and Wink Mascara. Hmm. I really like this silhouette. That's cute. I like this packaging. Let's see if this will give me Betty Boop lashes. 
It's actually got a lot of lift to it. Wow. Whoa. That's a lot of lift. I like it. It's got a black color to it. Wow, and it's not clumping. Like, it's making my lashes thin, but it's really making them tall. Yeah, there's like no little clumps on there. It's really smooth and easy to put on. I think that's as bitty boop as you can get without false lashes. Oh, I like this. Take a little closer look. Wow, that was also really easy to use too. I know this is first impressions and I'm kind of going extreme here, but this may be my new favorite mascara. Wow, I know I'm saying wow a lot, but like, I'm lost for words, so, wow. <laughs> I'm really happy I got this mascara. And that's like honestly a really perfect name, like this gives you Betty Boop. Lashes. Even though this is first impressions, I think I'm already, like, when I run out of this, I'm so gonna buy another. So, so far, Miss Betty, out of two products that I just got, I like both of them, so I'm really excited to try the other ones. So, the next product is from Context, and it's a matte lipstick, and it's in the color Sweet Emotion. Now this was a product that I chose to get. They gave a couple options. It was probably like the fifth product. And I chose to get this lipstick. Ooh, I like this color. It's kind of like a brownish, reddish, pinkish color. Wow, so if you can tell, this is just my natural lip color. And then this is a lipstick. I like it. Like, it definitely can build up for sure. This can get way darker, but I really like the color that it's at right now. It's really easy to use, too. It's also moisturizing. I honestly feel like if I put a black wig on right now, close to Betty Boop's wig, I would look like Betty Boop. Like, I got that dark lipstick, I got those very gorgeous little fluttering eyelashes. This is in the dark. And since it's fall time, this is like a really nice fall color to wear. And this is going to go with a lot of stuff, too. This is a really nice itsy day for me. I'm enjoying this. So out of the three products I've gotten so far, I love all three of them. So this is a definitely win-win for me. And tell me in the comments below if you got the mascara or the eyeliner or the lipstick in your bag. So the next product I got is a bum bum bum. It's a tr the True Cream Aqua Bum. It's from Belief, which is not cruelty free, so I'm not gonna try it. And the last product I got is from Ameliorite, I believe that's how you say it. And it has a alfalfa. I cannot say that word. Alfalfa hydroxic acid. There we go. My mom's laughing in the background, she thinks. And it has soothing body, it's a soothing body exfoliant moisturizer, scientific skincare, dermatologist approved, that's nice, all the cruelty free. And it contains a unique LAHA skin hydration complex. So this is going to be really good for exfoliating my skin, getting rid of dead skin, helping with acne, and it's really good for oily to combination skin. So I woke up, and my mom already tried it, but it did have a little safety seal on it. She says I should leave it on for a little bit, so I'm going to pack my suitcase for a little bit, just a couple minutes, while this is sitting on my face. So I'm doing something while I'm waiting. You can also, like, fold laundry while you're doing it, watch TV. Ooh! There's, like, little tiny beads. Definitely a scrub. Feels good. Feels like it's really exfoliating my skin. Yeah, it smells like kind of baby skincare. It's like baby oil, baby lotion, baby powder. Kind of like that kind of a smell. But it's not oily. It's just really like a scrub. It's kind of sandy feeling. 
It feels really nice. Wow, it really feels like it's really getting rid of all that dead skin. But it's also not rough on my skin. It's very gentle. And it kind of makes my cheek, like after it sits on there for a little bit, kind of feel like fluffy. Kind of very soft. I'll leave it on for about 10 minutes. So now I'm rinsing it off and my skin feels very nice and soft and smooth. It feels really cold on my face, like it just got exposed to cold air. It feels very refreshing. This feels like a bunch of like really nice wind just came in and was like, and my skin doesn't feel like it's being stripped away from its moisture. It actually feels kind of moisture, moisturized. Because usually when you use rough material on your skin, it kind of makes your skin dry out. Especially if you use something that's supposed to like reel and cleanse and like get all those stuff out of your skin. But it's very nice and moisture. It's very refreshing. So the bag came on time this month and it actually came early on the second week of this month. So I'm really happy I get the, like the entire month to try all these products and keep on using them and see how my skin reacts to them, which makes me really happy. And this design is super cute and super creative for the month of October. I really love how you can do this and it makes it look like it's your eyes. It's really cute and clever. So it also gets a star. And then four out of five products are cruelty free, so that also gets a start. And now it's time to rate the products themselves. So the Ultimate Define Gel Eyeliner Longwear Waterproof Gel Eyeliner from Sistar gets a full on star. I really love the color. I like how it's easy to use. And actually the smudger does work when I used a different eyeliner. And it actually did make it a, like a blurry kind of a way what it's supposed to do. The thing is though, it was like a centimeter big of like a line of eyeliner and that's what helped it. It's just tiny lines isn't the easiest to smudge, but I really love it so it gets a star. So the next product is the Betty Boop and Ipsy Blink and Wink Mascara. I really love the packaging, how it's a red silhouette of Betty Boop. It's super cute and I love how lifting these are and I really love the color. And it's just a really amazing mascara so like it definitely gets a star, no doubt. And the lipstick from Context in the color Sweet Emotion, I really like. This color is super cool. This is my second time wearing it and I really like how it highlights my face. It gives my lips a nice shine to it. It's a really natural color and it's really easy to put on, so it definitely gets a star. So the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Bomb, I'm giving it zero stars because it's not cruelty free. And then the next product is an Amulorite. I believe I'm saying this right, I don't really know. It's a pretty big word. And it's the Smoothing Body Exfoliant Face Scrub. And I really like this, I love the smell, and my skin is really happy right now. It was super soft, and I really enjoy using it for first impressions, so it gets a star. So out of a possibility of 8 stars, it got 7, so technically I got an 88%, which is also the same as a B plus. And then that's actually pretty good, and I really enjoy trying these products, and I definitely can't wait to keep on using them throughout this month. Hopefully they last to the next month, but if they don't, it just means that I loved it a lot. And don't forget to enter my giveaway where I'm giving away more than five new products in this beautiful blue and white striped Ipsy Glam Bag. And to enter this giveaway, a couple things you need to do. Give me a like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, follow me on Instagram, and question of the day. Since it's Halloween, what are you going to dress up as? And is it going to be beautiful?